One of the things I want to, to show you guys today is this pretty cool monitor. This is the OC LCM 156 monitor. It's pretty much a reference monitor with a lot of features. The LCM 156 monitor is a 15 inch monitor, which I think is kind of like the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's to me the perfect size for a field monitor because you know once you put this case on it you know I don't think I really want it to be any bigger than this. Especially for all of you shooters that you know carry a lot of your own equipment. Um, you don't want to carry anything too large um, and this is one of those monitors that's probably at the right size where you know it's not going to kind of weigh you down too much. Probably the craziest thing about this monitor is that it has 10-bit processing on a 10-bit display. And this monitor is under $1,000. So that's just pretty crazy. Um, the imaging on this thing is probably equivalent to a monitor you know, that's in the $5,000 range. So if you're looking for a monitor that is really good at an affordable price range, you know, this is the monitor. Um, it carries a whole bunch of uh, other features that's very useful on the set, like waveform, vector, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So, so that's cool, you know. And on the monitor itself, of course, um, you have programmable buttons so that you can program to where whatever you want. Also, with this monitor, when you purchase it, you have the option of pretty much um, getting a case with it, which is this production case. Which, you know, I think. You know, if you're planning on taking this, you know, into the field, it's a great accessory to have because it completely protects the monitor um, and it has two panels for, for the front and the back. It's very, very easy to close up. All you do is just put it in and it just locks in on both sides. So it makes, it makes packing this monitor extremely fast. Um, you know, if I want it to jump on a, on a shoot really, really quickly, um, all I got to do is just unplug it and put the, put the uh, panels on, the front and back cover, and it's pretty much ready to go. The case is super sturdy and durable. And also, if you buy the case, what's pretty cool is that they also include the Hoodman mount. So, you know, if for all of the shoots where you're pretty much, you know, outdoors, um, you know, you need a field monitor. It's, you know, it's pretty, pretty sweet that they include it and you don't have to like purchase it or whatnot. The other cool things that makes this great for a field production monitor is that um, it is, this monitor is capable of mounting a visa plate onto it. So if you want to mount this onto a C stand or a baby stand or whatnot, you know, when you're on set, you can do that. The other thing that's really cool about this monitor is you have the ability to power it with uh, batteries. You know, so when you're on location, you know, and you don't have access to power or whatnot, you can put a Anton Bauer or a V-mount, you know, battery plate in the back so that you can run it with one of these. So that's pretty cool, you know, and and. You know, all of that for pretty much a price point of like, you know, under a thousand dollars, which is pretty phenomenal. So this monitor also has a 178 degree field of view, which is great when you have a whole bunch of people on the set that needs to look at the monitor, like, you know, a gaffer or, um, you know, makeup people, hair people, director, producers, whatever. So it's great, you know, for that, you know, you can see it in, in a wide angle. Um, Let's go over the inputs on this thing, you know, which is the back. And on the back here, you have your HDMI in, and you have two channels of HDSDI in and out, which is great. So there's a whole bunch of inputs. Um, you have um, composite. You, uh, there's a headphone jack for the director if you're sending anything in here. So. You know, it's great so that, you know, if this is mounted on a C-stand or something like that and a director is looking at this, you can plug the headphones into this monitor and they can hear it if you're, you know, feeding the audio into here. Um,
All right, so going through uh, you know the menu to take a look at some of the features, area marker, center marker, safety marker, uh, cross hatch, up to 16 channels of audio metering, um, waveform, vector scope. We have um, um, standard Rec 709. You know, five different keys or five different customizable function keys. IMD in monitor display and it also has IP control which is pretty crazy because you know you can connect this monitor to a computer to control it and when it's connected to the computer you also have the ability to upload LUT to it which is really really beneficial for DPs when they're really trying to show clients a preview of um, a particular look. Um, OC has their own software that makes it really really easy to do so all you need is a 33 point LUT that is a, a dot bin or a dot cube um, you just load it into the software hit refresh and bada beam bada boom it's on the screen as far as things that I didn't really like about this monitor um, I was kinda hoping that it had false color in it um, which is you know a tool I use very often to quickly check exposure um, I wish it had HDMI loop through but you know at the price point you know it's already loaded with so many features that you know I can't really complain um, but you know for the price point and what you're getting it's you know it's there's so much bang for your buck that I, you know I recommend pretty much anyone that needs a very portable affordable monitor you know in their kit you know this is the monitor you know that you should go for so you know, I'll put a link in the description so that you can check it out and, you know, good luck shooting.